Hi folks, I'm Steve Safaro with Security InfoWatch and Security Business Magazine. And I'm proud to be here with Gerald Becker. And he heads up for Quantergy, the uh, security space, right, uh, in business development. And I'm here at CES 2022, and you've got some exciting products for the security industry, right, Gerald? Absolutely. You want to introduce us to a few of them? Yeah, so Stephen, thanks for coming by. Today, in this section, we're showing you a little bit about what we do here at uh, Quantity regarding our security uh, flow management suite of products. So, we do quite a bit in the security space where we're actually tracking objects, tracking people, and applying business intelligence and operational workflow, and also doing perimeter intrusion type of application. We're actually allowed allowing our, our, our customers and our partners to leverage LiDAR as a new IoT sensor to be able to detect and understand when there's potential intrusions or objects of, of importance to notify alarm centers, operations centers, security operators at all. So I see here you're protecting some uh, critical infrastructure facilities? Yeah, so what you see here is one of our partners out of Europe who's actually leveraged our sensors combined with camera technology to augment their existing implementation where they're using LiDAR to detect, track, and classify any potential threats that come in throughout the perimeter, and then they activate the PTZ cameras to then start tracking the potential threat within the environment. This has obviously offered them a lot of uh, value in the sense of being able to decrease false alarms. Uh, as we know, uh, cameras can only see what's in front of them. So with our technology, you see full 360 with a high field of view. And with that, they're, they're basically getting complete coverage, which they remotely send off to their alarm and bird monitoring centers where they can then dispatch surveillance and security to then get a security guy on board or to go onto a site and then get that potential threat off the property. Uh, I see there, levé de tout physique. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're doing water infrastructure also. Yep. So I notice you're uh, fully integrated into uh, many of the video management systems, right? So. Yeah, so that's one of the key things about our Quantergy's integrations is what we've done, uh, let me bring it back a little bit. So we see that the, a lot of the LiDAR market is heavily focused in other respected markets and we took a key uh, uh, approach into the physical security industry and started integrating directly the platforms that offer you know the visualization as it pertains to security use cases. Such Speaking as of the VMS. visualization, yeah. <laughs> so, once again, one of the unique things about Quantergy is that not only do we manufacture the hardware, but we also develop the software, which is perception. Think of perception like a video analytic to a camera. Perception is the analytic to a LiDAR sensor. We do that all in-house at Quantergy, so we basically provide the full stack in that regard. Then our partners, such as the VMSs, the analytic companies, take the metadata that we provide to create the interesting workflows or whatever the use case may be for security, business intelligence, or whatever it may be that they're trying to use it for. So this looks tremendous. So you've got actually a, a map that's recognizing and categorizing objects and Absolutely. showing their path. Yeah, so what you're seeing is a top-down view of our booth here. As you can see, we've got hundreds and hundreds of people walk around the booth. And in this particular use case, what we've done is we created an event zone. Event zone is right here in blue. Anytime anyone walks in that square, it'll automatically trigger the camera to then start tracking that individual. Now, once again, the unique thing that we do with our tracking is that it enhances the tracking capabilities of PTZ camera. We know that sometimes a PTZ camera may get confused when there's a lot of people may start tracking other individuals. Our solution will uniquely track one individual and keep tracking that individual because we keep passing location data to the camera so it knows exactly where John Doe or bad actor is at any given time until respectively another potential threat or object gets uh, uh, selected within the field of view. So this is tremendous. You're, I have not seen another platform that does this. Typically, they're dealing with point clouds and categorization, and you're already taking care of that, but you're not requiring that you know, macro view. You're, you're instead seeing a top-down view, and paths are shown quite nicely, so it's gonna be very easy for the security folks, right, to uh, merge over to a system like this, and a lot less, less costly, I guess, too. Yeah, so one of the things that some, some of our partners are doing is they integrate this into their maps so they can understand the path, the journey, or wherever they came from. So whenever they committed the fence, whatever they broke in, or whatever the use case may be, you can then see the historical path of where they came from and what they did before the crime was created or whatever the use case may be in that regard. So I see you have exclusion zones and inclusion zones. So you can yep. require people to take certain paths 
around so hazardous really, facilities, right? That's exactly it. So it depends on what the workflow is. So if you want to exclude areas that are creating noise, so if you want to eliminate any potential noise areas such as foliage or areas that just don't matter to us, right? You only want to look at one side of the fence versus the other. You can exclude those zones or include those zones depending on what you want to get alarmed on. You can draw any, any amount of event zones to your heart's content within the platform. So it really comes down to what it is that you're trying to track. That's great. And do you see robots? Uh, obviously uh, being part of this because I could see that uh, this will help you uh, track you know uh, robotic uh, progress if you wanted to uh, have a remote weather station in an airfield or something like that so you could you could be tracking ground handling plus have a roving uh, robot you could actually almost forget about putting CCTV in or video surveillance in and just do totally LIDAR and just have the robot have a video camera. <laughs> yeah, yes and no. Uh, obviously, partner uh, cameras are our friendly solution to ours. Yeah, they, they definitely are. add value. Where we don't see, obviously, one of the key points with LIDAR is that there's zero personal identifiable information provided with Correct. the sensor. <coughs> and that cameras, is a wonderful thing these days. <laughs> absolutely. Now, obviously, with GDPR and privacy concerns throughout the world. So. As I see this, you can uh, categorize these little boxes. These little boxes can represent people or, you know, moving objects. I mean, they could they could represent vehicles also, and they'll be automatically classified, right? You hit that on the nail. So Great. we're looking for people, we're looking for vehicles, and we have subclassifications for vehicles as well. And each one of those can indicate whatever the use case may be. If you're looking for people, maybe for ITS application for pedestrian safety, or maybe vehicles, uh, collision avoidance, and understanding what's going on within the city intersection, so on and so forth. So we've seen this as top down. You can use this also on a level, you know, and viewing horizontal motion. Absolutely. So once again, this is the power of 3D, right? In the security space, we've been so it's been common use of seeing everything in 2D, only seeing what's in front of you. What we're seeing is strictly just a top down view. But if I had mouse control, I could flip this on it. In fact, I have a mouse right here. You can see I'm actually flipping it on its side. Oh wow! And then I can actually pan and tilt and move this around in different perspective and actually see what's going on directly within the environment. So it's no longer just a top-down view. I can literally look from different angles and different perspectives. Oh, so you can actually see the heights, relative heights of. Absolutely. And uh, actually, I'm seeing here the skeletal positioning. Is that possible? So what you're seeing is basically a side profile of everything that's going on in the environment. So you can actually see where the potential people are, where they're walking, so on and so forth in that. So you got their vector. Yep. So you exactly know how they're moving. You can judge or predict crime behavior or, uh, or motion, uh, uh, people motion. That's great. So I think we'll, uh, we're going to go over to the solid state area. But before we do, how does somebody uh, get in contact with you? Yeah, absolutely. So you can come directly to quantergy.com or you can reach me out uh, directly on LinkedIn. Just look up Gerald Becker at Quantergy and you can reach out to me. We can set up a call to talk about some of the use cases that we do. And Quantergy is spelled Q-U-A-N-E-R-G-Y. Absolutely. And uh, that's great. Okay. Thank you so much, Gerald. Thank you, Stephen.